Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Media Center. And if you don't know how to set up Media Center, just look up videos on YouTube, how to set it up with your Xbox. Now, most of your movies should be able to work once you install the codec files. This is all in HD. There's no uh, no loss in quality. But let me go over to uh, this one, a very Herald and Kumar. This one is an MKV also, but for some reason, for some reason, it doesn't want to play. So I'll show you how to make any MKV file play, not just some of them. Alright, so if you try using DivX Converter, you're going to end up dragging your MKV file in here. It's going to take like two hours just for it to show up in here. You know, press start, and when you try converting it, it's going to give you an error. So you just wasted all that time, so don't try to use Diverter. Next, if you try using TS uh, Muxer, you're going to go ahead and load your movie file. When you try loading your movie file, it's going to do this. Invalid freaking gives you another error. What you are going to use, you're going to use PS3 Muxer. Now you're going to open it. Open up uh, your movie file. And you're going to make sure this box right here is checked. And then go ahead and start muxing. When you try doing this, when it's done, it's going to take about 6 minutes. But when it's done, it will put out a file, an MT or M2TS file, and it should be able to play on your Xbox. Let's take a look. Alright, now when you come back to your Windows Media Center, you're going to see there's uh, the file that you put in there, and let's go ahead and try playing it. Fast forward and everything. And this is all in HD. There's no loss in quality. So it just took six minutes to convert the file. So that's how you play any movie on your Xbox. If uh, some of your files don't work, it'll only take six minutes to convert it into HD and you can play all your movies on your Xbox. Hope this helped you out.